YouTube both. So let us start our session. Uh, I hope everybody joins in very early so that there is no repetition of questions and repetition of answers also, you know. So today we had to discuss something about moon phase because today itself, uh, tomorrow 25th of uh, September is basically, it's called an Amalsia. So it is a new moon phase and uh, you might have noticed in your practice that there are a lot of uh, patients or a lot of disease condition where which are aggravated in new moon phase and full moon phase. So sometimes what happens, you check the cholesterol, you check thyroid, you check uh, uh, sugar and you find that it is very high and you are surprised that how come the medicine which you thought was a simulum did not work. And then I would advise you to check it out two or three days after the moon phase and you will be surprised that the reports which were so haywire comes to normal or close to normal. This is the importance of moon phase and it is very important to understand and know when the moon phase is coming. So I welcome Dr. Deepak, Dr. Mona, Dr. Vishaka, Dr. Anja. This is the importance of moon phase because I had a case of hypercholesteremia and he checked in the new moon, uh, new moon time and his cholesterol was, it came very high. I advised him to check after three days and surprisingly in the same lab, the cholesterol came, came to close to normal. So this is the importance of moon phase, which everybody should remember. Hello, Dr. Vishal. This is the importance of moon phase that you should all remember. And there are some remedies which I have found clinical. I'm telling the word clinical because in the repertory or material medical, you might have lots and lots of remedies. The remedies keep getting added every, every editions. So there are remedies which basically are so very important and indicated in the new moon phase or the full moon phase that you should remember according to me clinically what I have found useful in. For example, tomorrow is a new moon phase, tomorrow is Amavasya. Yeah, welcome Dr. Meera. So whenever the patient com complains and tells you that he, there is aggravation in new moon, there are some remedies which are very, very precise, which has precise aggravation in new moon phase. Welcome Dr. Meera, Dr. Najma, Dr. Disha. New moon aggravation in clinical practice, I have seen simple remedies like phosphorus is there, rustox is there, pulsatilla is there, sulfur, lacassis, causticum are aggravated in new moon phase. So if you have, if you are taking a case and you have given the symptom, nothing is working, find out the moon phase of the patient and you will be surprised that the moon phase sometimes will basically guide you to a good remedy to the similum remedy. Of course, there are other remedies like silicia and thuja also, which have uh, new moon aggravation, but like remedies like phosphorus or rustox, pulsatilla, sulfur, nux omega are very, very causticum, lacassis are very, very important in these cases where there is a new moon aggravation. I hope you understand. Welcome Dr. Palak, Dr. Valeriana. So these are the remedies which are indicated. Of course, if you see, if you check out the uh, Mater Medica, it is so important, you know, if you check the remedy which I have told, most of the remedies which I have told are chili, like Naxomic is chili, Phosphorus is chili, Rustox is chili, Causticum is chili, Arsenic is chili. Except for that, uh, Lacassis is basically a hot remedy. And one more remedy which I have told, uh, three marking Sulfur is hot remedy. We have hot remedies like Bryonia also, Epismel also, which are hot remedies. So when you differentiate in two thermals also, most of the remedies basically can go in and go out. So this is the importance of knowing the new moon aggravation and knowing the thermals of the remedy so that you are able to differentiate between the uh, silver remedies. So welcome Dr. Tamanna, Dr. ABC. This is remedies which have new moon aggravation which I have seen in my practice. Now there are remedies which have aggravation in full moon also and you will be surprised, you know, you will be surprised that some remedies are so close which have aggravation both in new moon and full moon. Both phases like pulsatilla, sulfur, epismel, lacassis, bryonia. These remedies have both new moon aggravation and full moon aggravation both. But remedies like bromium or bovista or fluoric acid or gelsemium, ledampal. These remedies have classical full moon aggravation. So you have to understand remedies which have both the parts and which have single part also. For example, I told you remedies like uh, Bovista, Bromium, Fluoric Acid, Gelsemium, Ledampal. These remedies have classical full moon aggravation and remedies like Arsenic Iode or Bufo, Clematis, uh, Calibrome. 
दीज रेम और मर्क और ऑल्सो दीज रेमिडीज हैव क्लासिकल न्यू मून एग्रोवेशन एंड देर आर रेमिडीज विच हैव बोथ न्यू मून एग्रोवेशन ऑल्सो एंड फुल मून एग्रोवेशन ऑल्सो लाइक पल्सिटिला सल्फर एपिसमेल लैकसिस ब्रायोनिया uh natrium uh, or carcinogen have both the moons aggravation so it is very it's a very keen observation and then you have uh, waxing and waning means after full moon and after new moon there is waxing period and waxing and waning period that is also important but you have to decide moon remedies aggravation new moon full moon common remedies classical full moon aggravation remedies and classical new moon aggravation remedies this will help you in differentiating from remedies which have come three or four in your repeated chart one remedy i would i would like to tell you where the patient comes and tells that he is better in full moon when the patient comes and says that he is better and in full moon the remedy i have prescribed with great results is carcinosin and when the patient says he is better in new moon think about a very very important remedy uh, not used so uh, frequently by doctors but it is chocolate so these are basically i'll tell you more further in moon phases but there are few questions which i would like to answer welcome dr babel dr sharan so there's a question by dr meera says my 4 year old son has octopus in otoscopy in morning he had unbearable pain in left ear there is inflammation congestion in left ear which medicine should i give in having very bad cough and wheezing sound yeah so it is very important to first understand the side which is so you can give remedies like merk ido rubrum first second remedy is belladonna and third remedy is kali moor but i would first suggest to give merk ido rub it will definitely work give if you have lm potency repetition lm potency 03 or in potency you can give to our potency hello dr sharan a question for me bc age is 19 uh, you can write your name so that i can address you by your name whoever is dr abc age is 19 years male sleeping night for 10 hours uh, and after on 3 hours is it harmful remember one thing everything in a limited is good if you eat limited sweet it's good if you eat limited food it's good if you eat limited chapati limited rice limited pizza burger everything the body takes but in limited amount and that goes it to sleeping also and not sleeping also so sleeping for uh, 19 hours plus 3 hours so uh, 10 hours plus 3 hours that is 13 hours half of the uh, day sleeping which is not good so uh, there is some problem he has to be uh, maybe he has to be told and made to understand what is the importance of uh, and what is not importance of sleeping so much everything in limitation is okay you cross the limit you go hyper or you go you go hyper then you get disease that is important welcome dr sneha his tympanic membrane is swollen yes dr mira then you have to give merk ido rubrum give 200 potency at least twice a day for, or thrice a day for 3 days uh, sir child of 45 and a half years having recurrent cough and cold with rash similar to articaria with severe itching off and on no see uh, uh, dr disha articaria if you if you use the words articaria then see there are there are lot of remedies for articaria and definitely cough and cold then try to define articaria that's that is why basically i always tell you asthmatic no this is a different question if you want this remedy i can tell you some remedies with cough and cold and severe itching write down the remedies you must think about rustox you must think about dalcamara you must think about causticum and you must think about arsenic and epismel so these are the remedies which you which you have to look about epismel dalcamara rustox hypersulf causticum these five remedies because it contain it has both cough and cold with severe itching articaria like eruptions okay uh, asthma aggravated uh, yeah you can use this five remedies dr disha asthma aggravation before full moon and first moon i just told you whenever asthma is aggravated before full moon so i told you some full moon remedies you always immediately go to full moon aggravation i told you remedies which are both which are having new moon aggravation and full moon aggravation but in your case it is full moon aggravation so you can write down the remedies which have full moon aggravation you know the remedies which have full moon aggravation you can write down some of the remedies full moon bratacarp bovista bromium cyclamen Ignisha is also a full moon aggravation and kali nitricum. 
try to get the modalities try to get the thermals and you can get the remedy full moon aggravation uh, prostatic prostatic patches only on the dorsal surface of finger psoriatic patch sorry psoriatic patches on the dorsal surface of fingers now dr joshi as i all i as i have always told you and i have told before on youtube also there is one instagram live which i took for psoriasis for one hour and i also felt very happy while giving it and there were a lot of good comments from a lot of doctors still people are watching it because i can see the growth is increasing day by day please go and again see that uh, instagram live because uh, for me psoriatic patches wherever it is in the body it is in relation to mind unless you crack the mind of the patient how to enter the mind of the patient i have not been able to cure any case of psoriasis in relation to only spots only itching or parts of the body when you get about 3 4 remedies in your repetitory chart then you can differentiate psoriasis in the dorsum surface or on the palmar surface or head foot but it is very important to understand the mind of the patient that is how i enter in every case of psoriasis so i would suggest you to go and see that instagram live and then you will get the idea on how to treat or how to enter a case of psoriasis dr michela joined welcome dr gaurav mishra on instagram welcome dr disha says every time rash comes along with cough and cold yeah dr disha so whenever the rash comes with cough and cold i have told you the remedy and it is very it is if it is coming very nicely with cough and cold you can also think about remedy sulfur which is also there basically in cough and cold uh, just try to differentiate uh, epis mellifica you know, because epis mellifica is a very important remedy epis mellifica is aggravation in the night now that is very important in relation to epis mellifica and now if you see and the it is basically if the eruptions are alternating with asthma see if the eruptions are alternating with asthma you can again think of epis mellifica or arsenic but in your case it is with so think about remedies sulfur epis mel arsenic and dalkamara one of the four one of the four remedies or you can i have i had a case whenever he had asthmatic troubles he developed lot of urticaria whenever please listen whenever he had asthmatic troubles he had lot of urticaria and a single dose of epismel 1m cured the urticaria also and cured the asthma also of course after asthma cured he had some rashes but not urticaria simple rashes lot of itching it went off in 3 days welcome dr jak jaksir hussain okay welcome if sorry if i am not able to pronounce it properly dr joshi okay so these basically are my clinical see now this is basically i'm more uh, related to talking about clinical uh, mathematic and application because theoretically there are lots of books which i might have not read in my maybe of late so you, that's all clinically which i'm telling you sir your experience in treating any case of tinnitus or homopathy yeah yeah dr snail tinnitus of course if you tell me tinnitus or vertigo these are problems basically which uh, uh, are so difficult you know uh, difficult to treat and uh, of course uh, i have also problem but then uh, in homeopathy you see one th- bottom line is there if you don't understand anything first of all make sure that you define the character or define the symptom of the patient specifically if you still are not able to do that you can always t- go and take the whole case and then decide what to do and in tinnitus it is not so uh, see it is not so uh, difficult to cure because in tinnitus you might get some symptoms which are very very uh, peculiar to that disease you know uh, for example uh, you get uh, you get tinnitus basically uh, which time of which time of day is more normally a patient comes and tells you whenever he is sleeping or whenever everything uh, no sound is there in, in the environment then the tinnitus is, is more so in that case that's a normal symptom so try to get the symptom like a uh, patient comes and says when he is blowing the nose the tinnitus is more the patient sometimes says when he is eating or chewing something the tinnitus is more sometimes the patient says when he starts coughing there is more of tinnitus like in axoma cancellosa or the patient says when he starts eating he gets tinnitus symptoms or when during headache there is tinnitus so there are a lot of uh, what you call symptoms where you can define a particular patient with tinnitus and then uh, prescribe the remedy or if you find that tinnitus symptoms are quite normal and you are not getting results then try to take the whole case uh, try to differentiate myasmatically make a, a good web chart and you will get the remedy dr harshal welcome abc doctor so please suggest us books about your 
learning mental symptoms no no there are see uh, there are a lot of books you know of late there are the market is flooded by so many books you know but basically i would like to suggest the i always tell you the basic uh, books which are there in 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 our in our cupboards stacked up but they are not opened because of the new authors and new books coming out that's why you fail to understand and you fail to get the gravity of that uh, remedy you start reading uh, kent's uh, lectures on mater medica you start reading uh, borick mater medica you start reading clark bogar those are basic books you know keep reading every day don't try to uh, learn symptoms automatically in uh, you, you will get some symptoms and automatically you will start understanding the concept of mater medica you know vertigo spinning with lying down aggression saliva in mouth and stool surging amebiosis see vertigo spinning is basically more of the same lying down now i like this type of question you know uh, basically dr visha so you have given me basically a very good uh, symptom to uh, prescribe you know you have defined that symptom that sir the vertigo is aggravated while uh, lying down now dr vishal understand that you have done one thing very right now as the patient lying down on back ag- back aggravates lying on the side aggravates or uh, lying uh, uh, anywhere in the back in, in the bed aggravates for example if the patient says lying aggravation in general think about conium think about spigelia think about pulsatilla think about uh, bryonia um, think about rustox but when the say patient says that when i lie on the back then it is more then the remedy changes it is merxol pulsatilla or silicia the patient says no when i lie on the side it aggravates then ask him which side left side or right side for left side think about phosphorus iodum silicia on the right side think about uh, again phosphorus will come i think muriatic acid is there and tuberculum is there so these are the symptoms basically you have to define that symptom go go beyond you know if the patient says something try to uh, ask the patient more about that symptom because he knows that symptom very nicely very precisely that's why he is able to pin point that he has lying aggravation only night aggravation so this is again a very pin point aggravation so basically if this is the case then you have remedies like what i told you you can add to that chamomilla you can add to that causticum and you can add our carbo h now one thing also dr vishal tell you sometime the patient says that when i am going to sleep see going to sleep and on sleeping on the bed is different so it is called lying down in the act of lying down if you have vertigo then the remedy is belladonna and lactis is very very important on the bed the remedy changes sides remedy changes that changes also so as that also lying down in the act of means he is just trying to go in the bed before lying down he gets vertigo then the remedy changes yeah so this is these are the remedies i think uh, i have answered it very detail so you can go through this remedy good doctor dr shivastha uh, showed homeopathy doctor gave ichnisha and eustephulia got 50% relief in allergic rhinitis but no treatment in migraine mode see uh, okay sorry i have missed the age 19 years i have allergic rhinitis which has diagnosed by ent doctor level 3 3 years ago 363 and i had headache also showed neurologist and he said you have migraine did mri was normal uh showed home with the doctor gave ichnish angusti folia got 50 lg see when you are better in allergic rhinitis but the migraine is not okay that means you have cured sora but soro psychotic migraine which is so painful is not cured that means uh, the remedy has acted superficially again go to that homeopath give some detailed case taking so that he is able to take your soro psychotic symptoms first migraine goes and then the allergic rhinitis goes okay yeah dr vishal i think that was the answer which i could give the best sir please make a video about miasmatic sessions yeah i had got some uh, before also query on miasmatic session but those videos basically went very long you know half an hour and 45 minutes so sometimes the video is very long no uh, it becomes difficult for the viewers also to understand and difficult for the for me also to basically try to hurry up sometimes i have to, I have to try to hurry up because miasm is such a lengthy topic so i am not able to complete that video so uh, maybe we'll be planning something on when i plan something on google meet see i have to basically answer miasm question in relation to the case 
then it is more important rather than theoretically explaining myism because if you open uh, your whatsapp or you open your social media there will be floods of uh, what you call understanding about myism you know every one day you get a few videos on myism so it is very important which i explain you myism through a case wait for some time we'll start a google meet okay sir this is the session for asthma and psychosis so any particular approach to follow in such acute observation also potency session yeah yeah dr nisha duseja this was a session basically on moon phase but i just started the moon phase and uh, there was so many questions so that i had to again uh, go on the question answer session whenever you are treating a case of asthma imagine if you are feeling feeling very claustrophobic you cannot breathe because you are surrounded by so many stress tensions anxiety whatever where you cannot breathe you feel suffocated in the mind that is how you have to enter the case of asthma aapko mentally bahut ghutan ho rahi hai ye situation se aapko bahar nikalna hai jis prakar aap agar koi room mein rakh diye room charo taraf se band kar diye pura vacuum create kar diye and you cannot breathe same way when your mind is basically uh, filled around with lot of stress tension you have you want you want to come out of that tension and stress so that you can breathe normally that is the entry point of a case of asthma which i have seen in my practice regarding potency if you have the remedy nlm potency please start that potency in repetition you will get very good results i hope dr nisha duseja you got an answer because i have seen so many case of asthma chronic asthma for years and years this concept has given me very good results i may have skipped few questions on instagram because there were a lot of questions yes so i think most of the questions what i could see on my screen have been answered yeah you can again start asking few more questions moon phase uh, i hope you start understanding moon phase in your uh, basically uh, case taking and your and your day to day practice that will help you very much you know, i had a case where there was a classical symptom of uh, aggravation of moon is agg moon aggravation it was either full moon or new moon and alumina was the remedy and it did a wonderful job uh, nisha dusra che would fanning ameliorate by a common symptom then yeah in most of the cases dekhiye jab aapko bahut ghutan ho rahi hai when you are in a vacuum room or there is lot of dust and lot of smoke and you come out of the smoke coughing coughing you sit in the fan you feel healthier you know so fanning sometimes becomes because there is so lot of constriction the bronchioles are in spasm it is lot of spasm in spasm you cannot breathe so the main symptom at that time would be required fanning then you can think about fanning required from a close distance from far distance wants to be uh, have fanning fast wants to have fanning slow wants to be in a cold room or hot room then it will differentiate and then you can get to get to the remedy that is important in asthma you know for example if uh, uh, for example uh, if i would explain you know if the patient comes and tells you that uh, the respiration is very difficult and he wants to be fanned and fan slowly from a distance a very very important remedy please do write down is lacasis but if the respiration is difficult and the patient wants to be fan think about remedies like carbovage ferum metallicum medorinum these are very very important remedies but slowly and from a distance then you have to think about lacasis these are all clinical things which i have seen in my practice you know this time sharing it with you you can also add that fanning difficult breathing wants to be fanned pulsatile also so pulsatile ferum metallicum carbovage medorinum are remedies where the fanning is uh, breathing is difficult requires fanning but from a distance and slowly is like assess i hope i am not too fast that's my constitution so please understand that you know and uh, there are different uh, whatever metrometric i can i can recall now for example if there is uh, i had a case where the patient was suffering from headache is patient doxepate and whenever he used to sit in the fan the headache used to be better carbovage is the remedy you know this that, that's the case so there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, remedies lot of uh, different modalities you know like for instance there is a very interesting symptom in, in when there is pain in the hands and feet and the patient wants to be fanned 
you know the remedy is what is the remedy a very very interesting remedy doctor uh, nisha whenever there is pain in the extremities especially in the hands and the feet and the patient likes to be fanned the remedy is medorinum very very interesting remedy you know very very interesting remedy or you can say sometimes the patient desires to be fanned whether it is any condition or no condition then also the remedy is carbovage and whenever there is fanning and the patient is feels better while fanning it is carbovage because it is prepared from vegetable charcoal and when when you give wind to the charcoal it basically starts igniting that's the carbovage patient you know desires to be fanned or fanning amelioration like we have argentum nitricum like we have china we have carbovage these remedies basically desires or you fan fanning ameliorate the complaints these are few remedies which i remember in relation to fanning i hope you got some answer to fanning you know can we go forward few questions more dr nisha dr nisha i hope you got the answer uh, please try to get the questions only on the youtube or instagram don't give me a whatsapp whatsapp it, it becomes difficult sorry yes so most of the questions are answered yeah so again we'll go on the moon phase if so i was talking about moon phase you know whenever the patient says yeah dr nisha thank you whenever the patient says that he feels no these are these are the patients you will find very very uh, sporadic patients who come and tell you that when there is a moon phase he feels better if today that if tomorrow 25th is a new moon phase and the patient says i am feeling much better on sunday that's a moon phase so you have beautiful remedies or a metallicum carcinogen and chocolate these are remedies which have wonderful result when the patient says he is better in moon phase now full moon and full moon amelioration is carcinogen and as i told you new moon amelioration is uh, chocolate and carcinogen both so carcinogen is a remedy if you go in the mater medica it has moon aggravation also and moon amelioration also so these are very very important and then you have remedies like uh, sifrinum which feels alternately full moon aggravation alternately full moon aggravation that's a fantastic remedy you know called sifilinum so whenever you are prescribing sifilinum do ask the patient because he is alternately aggravation in full moon phase that is sifilinum of course you can add few of your mater medica if you have so that i can also learn from you you know shakti homeopathy join yeah welcome so i hope something about moon phase you have understood just yes, i told you a case of alumina i'll just share one more case where the patient had a classical symptom of moon aggravation he was not able to judge new moon or full moon so if the patient is not able to judge don't try to put that symptom in his mouth that you yeah, have full moon or new moon whenever the patient comes and tells you moon aggravation alumina i told you one of the best remedies are, apart from alumina which i feel is sometimes works better than alumina it's a chili remedy and thirsty remedy you have used that remedy so many times in case of pus discharge and lot of pus discharge and bad effects of vaccination every injury supports the remedy which i'm talking about is silicia silicia is a fantastic remedy when the patient says there is moon aggravation whether it is new moon whether it is full moon in both the cases silicia again is a very very important remedy the third remedy which i would like to tell everybody which everybody might have given this remedy for worms it is almost a specific for worms but do ask the patient about moon aggravation the that remedy also has moon aggravation whether it is full moon or new moon the remedy which i am talking about is sina sina martima a very very important remedy for moon aggravation do remember this remedy you know and if you have read sina if, you, if there is no question i can just go out about sina and tell you something constantly digging and boring the nose all the time itching of the nose rubs the nose on the pillow or rubs the nose on the shoulders uh, shoulder of the nurse that is sina very very important remedy you know sometimes we fail to understand and we make a stamp on sina 
that Sina is only for worms. But Sina is a very, very important remedy. I had a case of aphonia where I used this symptom of moon aggravation and I was able to cure that aphonia in a Sina case. So this is the importance of Sina. Apart from child for worms, you also have to think about Sina in such cases where there is moon aggravation also. I hope I'm clear. I, I am not getting response and nobody is telling me yes, no answer. It is interesting. Otherwise, I fail to understand whether what I want to convey, whether you you are getting it or you are not getting it. Anybody? When you say yes, so I am also happy that okay, I am able to convey, convey what I want to tell you. Yeah. So only I think Dr. Meera is understanding the importance of moon phases, you know. One remedy which you basically have to understand in case of moon phases, which is again so very important, you know, it is a polycrest. You might have used that remedy so many, uh, much many times in your practice also. The remedy which I am talking, talking about is phosphorus. Phosphorus again is such an important remedy for moon phases. That's why, you know, sulfur, uh, phosphorus is a remedy which is a patient is very much over sensitive. Over sensitiveness of all the senses of external impressions, whether it is light, whether it is noise, whether it is odor, whether it is touch or whether it is a moon phase. This moon phase of phosphorus is again a very, very important indication that everybody should understand and should think about whenever you get a moon phase aggravation. Next remedy. I think in YouTube everything is bored or what? I just finished the moon, uh, the moon phase remedy. Calcarea carb. You know, Calcarea carb again is a very, very important remedy. Aggravation moon, whether it is, uh, uh, whether it is new moon, full moon, waxing waning. Yeah, Dr. Pollock also is understanding. Calcarea carb again is a very, very interesting remedy when there is a moon phase aggravation. It is new moon, full moon, every type. Calcarea carb is important. That's why it is a, it's, 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 it's a, it's a remedy not only for tendency to obesity or tendency to sprains easily for any type of complaints provided moon aggravation also please go home and see this is a very very important modality of calcarea carb this of course calcarea carb if you go mental symptom uh, is important but apart from the moon phase there is one symptom of calcarea carb which i of late i have seen very very important in my in my practice that is inability to apply himself calcarea carb has inability to apply himself of course you can have that support part of calcarea carb which is a very important theme that everybody talks about but inability to apply that is calcarea carb and second symptom which i have seen very very important of calcarea carb is hopeless of ever getting well Usko lagta hai ke mein thik hi nahi is absolutely hopeless that he can get well. That those two symptoms please do add in your Matra Medica. Uh, of course, it is, all, <coughs> it is such a wide Matra Medica. Adding two symptoms which, which, uh, would make it more, more wide. But these two symptoms that he feels that he cannot be cured or inability to apply himself are the very important symptoms of Calicarecar. So these are the remedies of moon phases. I hope you understood something and uh, I hope I was able to answer most of your questions on YouTube. I think there are no questions either on the Instagram nor on the YouTube. So if there are no questions, uh, I feel I would close the session or there are some, some there are some questions to be asked. Anybody? There was one, there were, there were a few questions on my WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp group where the all the doctors wanted some indications of some rare remedies which I have used in my practice. So I was thinking about uh, taking an Instagram live on some rare remedies which I have used in my practice and I have got good results. So uh, wait for that. Uh, there were a lot of queries. So I will be starting maybe Instagram live for use of rare remedies in my practice clinically what I have got results. You know what is written in the books is, is written but whatever I have seen in my practice I will share in my Instagram live whenever I start. So that was the answer to a lot of queries which was there on my uh, WhatsApp chat. So thank you all. Thank you all for uh, sparing your time. I hope you enjoyed as well as much as I enjoyed teaching you. Thank you so much.